There's growing evidence this morning that gastrointestinal bacteria do more than just digest food. Scientists have now discovered important clues about the role of so-called good bacteria. A new study in the journal Nature finds that people without certain microbes are more likely to be obese and to have diabetes or other serious health problems. CBS This Morning contributor Dr. David Agus is professor of medicine at USC and joins us this morning bright and early from California. Dr. Agus, good to see you as always. Good morning, Gail, Anthony. I, I'm thinking most people may not be familiar with good bacteria. What does it do for us? Well, listen, you have tenfold more bacteria in your body than you do human cells in the body. These bacteria control your metabolism. They control how you absorb your food. They control your hormone levels. And they control your immune system. Very powerful organisms. So why do some people have more and some people have less? Well, you remember, there was a study that just came out. It's really a profound study where they took people who were obese and non-obese, and they looked at their bacteria. The people who were obese had significantly less bacteria, and they were less diverse. And what's intriguing about this study is a second study in that same journal of nature where they changed the diet, and they put them on a high-fiber, low-calorie diet, and their bacteria changed. So all of a sudden, these bacteria are associated with being obese. And when they had lower, uh, fewer bacteria, they were actually the bacteria that caused inflammation. And remember, inflammation is the source of heart disease, cancer, and neurocognitive decline. So all of a sudden, there's this tie-in between these bacteria and disease and actually how much you weigh. So you want to have this good bacteria. And the question then, doctor, is how do I get me some? Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, it's a, it's a great question. And this story is really important because I think it starts to shed light on the fact that we're beginning to get to root cause of disease. And so once you get to root cause, many times it's the beginning of the end, which is very exciting. At the same point, how do you get to those good bacteria today? Well, it's eat a good diet. For what we know, it's a high fiber diet, a low calorie diet, it's good healthy foods eat at a regular time, and again, don't forget lower inflammation. It seems to be the root cause of many of these diseases. Well, diet helps, when you eat helps, exercise helps, all of them can lower inflammation, which is key. All right, Dr. David Agus, I didn't see coconut cake on that list. I thank you very much for joining us. You got it. Thank you, guys. All right.